family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. Well, the dog is laying directly under your feet. I mean, you literally cannot step back like one inch. So you know what that means. I'm cooking today. That means you're cooking. Today we're making a super easy chicken salad and you don't even have to turn on the oven. We will get to cooking right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it. So today we're making a super easy chicken salad. How easy is it? This recipe is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Yes, it is so easy that Rachel can make it. In fact, it is so easy, Rachel even came up with the recipe yep. for it. And I trust you so much to be able to make this and not screw it up. I'm gonna let you do this one all on your own and I'm gonna go behind the camera. Oh my gosh, it's just me and just my you new and your apron. apron from the thrift store. Okay. Before I go behind the camera, you wanna go over everything we need? Yes. Okay, so let's go over everything we're gonna need. First, you're gonna need a bowl. You need a bowl. And these are our favorites. These are our favorite bowls. We got them on Amazon. Now you can use any kind of you know, canned chicken. You can even use rotisserie chicken that yep. you have. If you have leftover rotisserie chicken, especially if you can have, if you have the thighs. Yeah. But for the sake of this. This is what I use, so this is what we're using. It's Kirkland Signature Premium Chunk Chicken Breast. Yeah, and again, you can use any chicken breast. But this is from Costco, so it's like a mighty can. There's 12.5 ounces of chicken in this. And the nice thing about the Costco one is they don't have a bunch of added ingredients into it. No, it's really fresh and extra lean. Yeah, make sure when you do buy your canned chicken breast, make sure that they don't have maltodextrin. Some of them actually put maltodextrin in there, which is a sugar. Yeah, it is. Like this stuff is just chicken breast, water, and like chicken broth. So. That's it. Okay, what else do we need? Okay, so you're going to need some mayonnaise. Some mayonnaise. We use Primal Kitchen. We use, actually, we just happen to have this jar left over, but now we pretty much make our own. Yeah. Uh, and I will leave a link to that recipe right over my head. Oh, yeah. So here's our chicken breast. I actually took it out of the can because, you know, it's always like clumped together in the yeah. can when you first get it. I used one stalk of celery, okay. but you can see I've got a ton chopped up here. I mean, okay. it looks like a lot. So finely chopped. Very chopped. Also, I've got one fourth of a cup of pecans. Okay. So very, very finely chopped. I have one ounce of cream cheese softened. Is, is that it, softened? So room temperature. This is my secret ingredient. Okay. And then I have salt, pepper, and then I also like to have some onion salt, but that's not necessary. That's okay. just if you like it. Okay, so well, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to go behind the camera. Now, they are supposed to drain this, right? Because yes. you've already done it to save some time in the video. Yeah. But so what you want to do is open up the can, drain, drain it, it out. And then give it to Tabitha because she loves that You stuff. should drink it. Well, she likes it too. Oh, okay. Can't like not let her have some. Okay, right? well, the floor is yours. I'm oh going goodness. over there. I'm, that's scary. That's a scary thought, right? Okay, so you're not gonna believe how easy this is. The first thing you're gonna do is pour your drained chicken breast into a bowl. Now, I probably could just make the whole recipe in this smaller bowl, but I'm not going to so that you can, you know, see better in this bigger bowl. All uh, I know is you would have killed me if I would have used two bowls for this. I know, right? Too, too much stuff to clean up. I'm just gonna dump that out. And I like to just make sure it's all like, you know, you work it with your fingers and stuff to unclump it from the can. So I got all that delicious chicken breast. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is take my softened cream cheese. I mean, I guess it's room temperature. Just let it warm up a bit. Um, and put one ounce of cream cheese in there. Then I'm gonna use a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise, which pre-keto sounds like crazy, right? Okay, you wanna just kinda top that off. All right, so I've got a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. Whoop, it doesn't wanna come out. He wants to stay. So quarter cup of mayonnaise. 
Then I've got my very diced up pecans. So this was only a fourth of a cup of pecans, but, or pecans, however it's, you say it. It's pecans. It's, it's pecans, I think. It's but, pecans. But um, anyway, so I want a crunch in every bite. So that's why I use, I dice them up so tiny. And the same thing for a celery. This is one stalk of celery, but I've really diced it up because I want to taste it in every bite because pre-keto I used to make my chicken salad with a lot of um, onion in it because I like the crunch and so I don't want to go without a crunch so then I'm going to use a half of a teaspoon of salt but this is really to taste you may not want that much salt but I do because I like things salty it doesn't sound like enough salt for me I know right I love salt and then I'm going to use a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper I like pepper in a uh, chicken salad. Now again, this is just me because I like the flavor of onion, but I'm gonna put a couple of shakes of this um, real salt onion in there because I like the taste of onion. All right, so now we've got all of our ingredients in there, looking all fly, and now we're just gonna mix it. Doesn't get much easier than that. I was thinking that this would be great to put inside one of those cheese wraps that you make, Joe. The yeah. folio cheese wraps. We yeah, we have like a good, uh, a good easy way to make those folio cheese wraps which sell for over a dollar a piece and I'll just put a link up over your head for it. And it's way easier and cheaper. Or you can serve it on a bed of romaine lettuce. Oh yeah. We like to put it on top of just a salad, like we make a big bowl of salad and then put a plop of this on top of it. Yeah, because this is nice because um, our salads are pretty plain, right? I mean, you're using like a spring mix or something and you're not- That's pretty much all of our salads. Yeah, and you're not putting a ton of things in it. So this makes it nice, but I thought this would really be good inside of one of those cheese wraps. So that is it. I have mixed it all together. And really the cream cheese is my secret weapon because it makes it nice and like cheesy and creamy. Just adds another layer of flavor. Now, um, you can also warm this up. Warmed up, it tastes really delicious also, but we're gonna serve it cold because it seems like a summer salad, right? All right, so now we've got it all mixed up. The only thing left to do is taste it and we're gonna bring Joe back for that. We're back. Do I need to like get 911 on speed dial just I, in case? It, it's not like a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I got a, some romaine lettuce here. Like, I like to have like, I don't know, my chicken salad and like lettuce or yeah. something. Ooh. <laughs> got like a little wilted piece of lettuce. All right, I want you to try it first. Oh, good. I like the crunch, right? From mm -hmm. the nuts are nice, and then the celery. Do you miss onion? No, and I'm not a huge celery eater, mm -hmm. but I'm starting to like it if it's chopped up small. Like you'll never yeah. gonna see me snacking on celery. I don't like it, it's too stringy, mm -hmm. you know? But when it's chopped up like this, usually I'll eat it, or if it's like in something cooked, mm -hmm. you know? But the cream cheese adds a different dimension, you know, because sometimes, Chicken salad can be too runny. I don't want it yeah. too runny, but I do want it fatty. Right, it thickens it up. Mmm. Really good. Really good, good job. Thank you. I love that. Um, so let's go over the macros on this. So if you cake this recipe and we cut it into three servings, it's gonna be 355 calories, 28 grams of fat, 29 grams of protein, gonna be 2.4 total carbs, mm -hmm. and it's a gram of fiber. So you get about one and a half net carbs per serving. Now, if you do wanna be like us and just eat the entire thing in one sitting. That doesn't make me sad. That's gonna be 1,066 calories. It's gonna be 83 grams of fat, 87 grams of protein, seven total carbs, and three net carbs, uh, three grams of fiber. So, so four, four net, net carbs. carbs. And now again, it comes out to be about 67% fat. Yeah. Okay. Now the other thing you can do, if you really want to make this a super fatty meal, 
is substitute the chicken breast. With chicken thighs. With chicken thighs. Now yeah. we're just showing this is super easy and this is like a go-to thing if like, hey, somebody is hungry, we always have cans of chicken breast. Yeah, like it's in just the, easy. You know, so we don't usually eat chicken breast. We never buy chicken breast except for in the can to just have it for our pizzas or something quick and easy go-to like this. Yeah, exactly. Now if you were to use the chicken thigh and use 12 ounces of cooked thigh without the skin, you'd be looking at for a serving 447 calories 38 grams of fat and 29 grams of protein so now you flip the switch so they, now you can see why we don't eat chicken breast i mean right. look at the difference you're going from 28 grams of fat uh you know with a chicken breast to 38 grams with the pro with the, using the it makes thigh. a big difference Make, and it's more flavorful i think yeah but this is easy for like grab and go this is the super easy way that's making why we have lunch, it in our house yep. making lunch for the kiddos so I think you did an incredible job. Thank you. Now we have something to eat while we wait for our ribs to cook today. Ooh, I love that. So, well, that is our video for today. Hopefully we've helped you guys out. Let us know down below in the comments section if you make this, or if you have your own recipe for chicken salad that you make on keto. Absolutely. I'm sure there's all kinds of things that you could add and just make it delicious. Yeah. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted and until next time, bye. Bye.